Your Guide to Prodigy. Walk through on. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the first episode of Your Guide to Prodigy. Alright guys, so this is basically going to be an entire Prodigy series explaining everything you guys need to know about Prodigy in a few short videos. Alright guys, so this will give you a full walkthrough on literally everything you guys need to know. So yeah, let's get on straight to that. I will be showing you guys everything about Prodigy from the perspective of a new account. So yeah, let's get straight to that. Alright guys, so basically start of the new account and then you customize your character. Once you guys customize your character, you guys will see that the game starts and it goes like this. Alright guys, so let's first get through the intro and then I'll be telling you guys what to do. Hello? Hey, listen. Alright, so you basically go through the dialogue in the front over here, so let's just go through this. Yep, alright guys, so take a good look at the screen over here because you're never going to be able to see the outside of your house ever again. Yeah, I'm quite sure you guys will never be able to see the outside of your house ever again, so yeah. Now once you guys basically go through this introduction, Newt will ask you who are you and you basically have to pick your name. So now over here basically it depends on what you pick and it shows you all of the names in the alphabet. You also can search for names over here so it makes finding a name really easy. Alright guys, so if you guys want to know where the teaching part starts, basically the teaching part starts when we catch our monster pets. So here's the timestamp to where the teaching actually starts. So right now we're going through the intro, and basically I'll show you guys how to do this. Alright guys, so basically in the very beginning when you start off the game, you guys can see that every monster which you battle will be at your level. But eventually what will happen is that your wizard will level up further and further beyond the pet's level. And soon what will happen is that your, um the pets which you guys will catch will be counted in as well so right now all monsters which you will be battling at the very beginning are going to be the same level as you but soon it's going to be reduced by four or five levels so yeah over here newt says the goal is to reduce your opponent's heart to zero all right guys so when you start a prodigy you guys are only given two spells that's the first spell star the first spell is Star Bits Blast, and the second spell, I do believe, is an area spell. Now, the area spell does require you to charge up your all out, to charge up part of your attack over here, as you guys can see. Now, every time you cast a spell, you guys will see that this bar rises up slowly. So, let's first cast our spell and show you guys what I mean. Now, of course, the spell which you're casting over here does not require any additional charge to charge up. But right, you guys can see we cast this spell, and this spell does on average anywhere from 100 damage to 200 damage. And if you guys pay attention over there, it should rise up unless there's something done specially for the tutorial. So you guys can see right now, it seems like Prodigy has- Alright guys, so when you first start off battling in Prodigy, you guys can see you're given two spells, but the first spell you unlock automatically. The next spell you guys need to be at level 3, so let's cast the spell. Ah, alright guys, so if you notice in the top hand corner over there, you guys saw that the amount of um, liquid there was in the circle immediately rose after every spell which you casted correct. So you guys can tell that that is basically how you charge up your attacks in order to cast other types of spells. So now over here you guys will see from the first battle you guys get enough member stars to automatically level up. From the second battle you guys will get 20 member stars which will push you to level 3 where you guys can cast multiple area spells. Right, so yeah, let's quickly collect our five hearts over here, open that member chest, and now we have a couple of gold. Now we have 150 gold. Alright guys, so from over here, New tells us great job, and then and then tells us something is wrong about that monster, and basically takes us to the side by telling us to click on the magical hand to lead us along the way. Now over here, you guys will see that five monsters will appear. These five monsters are the starter pet monsters in Prodigy. We have Charful, Sprout, Woot, Mermina, and Snowfluff. Right, you guys can tell, these are the pets which have the animated episodes played on them. So now, obviously, you guys can tell by just by the pets, you guys can tell that, they're, that they have different elemental powers. Like how Charful is fire, Sprout is earth, Woot is electric, Mermina is water, and Snowfluff is ice. So now you guys might be wondering, well, which pet should I pick? Should I pick any pet? Well, yes, um, whatever should... Alright guys, so from over here you guys can pick whichever pet you want, but if you guys want to get an advantage when you start off Prodigy, I would recommend you pick the Charful. Now here is my reason why. 
As you guys know, each pet has its own weakness, right? So you guys can tell that fire pets are weak against water. But another thing is fire pets are strong against earth and ice. This is this is one of the pets which is strong against two elements. It's neutral against Astral, which is the spell which your wizard casts, and it is and this pet is weak against shadow spells. You can tell that earth is strong against water, weak against fire, neutral against electric ice, and weak against shadow and astral. Not only that, electric is strong against water, but weak against but weak against snow, and it is basically neutral against anything else, and weak to shadow. And then you guys have water type pets. Now water type pets are one of the only pets in the game to have more than three weaknesses, right? Now water type pets are weak against earth and electric pets. Not only that, they're also weak against shadow magic, which is basically the spell casted by the upcoming antagonist, which is the puppet master and the pippet. Right, and not only that, they're neutral against fire and snow, and they are basically weak against astral. So all types of pets are weak against astral, guys, remember that. Now snow fluff is weak against fire, neutral against everything else, and including astral, and basically weak against a shadow. So here's the thing, all pets over here are neutral against astral and every other pet except for their weaknesses. So right now you guys can pick whichever pet you want, but if you guys want to get through the intro first and have an advantage in two zones, I'd recommend you guys pick the Charfold because it's a fire type pet. And not only that, but you got and not only that, but this will help you guys get through the academy much faster. So if you guys want a tactical advantage in the game, I'd recommend you guys choose this pet. Alright guys, so once you do that, it will ask you to battle the pet and basically it will show you guys how to battle. So you basically have to keep on attacking this pet with spells until it's defeated, and once it's defeated, you guys know you just click that rescue button and you will be able to rescue it. But of course the pet does have to have less than half of its heart. Now over here of course Prodigy won't allow you to kill the pet because you're supposed to catch it. Alright guys, so over here you guys can see that your spell can do anywhere from 170 damage to like 210. So you guys can tell sometimes you make it extremely close to killing your pets. Like one time I was left with only 1 HP left. Let's see what happens. So you guys can see you'll cast another spell and your pet will survive by maybe 25 health. So right now over here what you guys will have to do is you'll have to catch your pet. So just click that rescue button and because this is the beginning you guys are given an unlimited amount of chances to rescue your pet. But do be, but do be prepared, in the real Prodigy world, you guys are not given an unlimited amount of chances. You guys are given one chance if you're a non-member, and two chances if you're a member. That's all. If you lose, well then, you lose. You're not getting their pet back. But yeah, basically once you do that, you guys will basically break a spell casted upon the pet by the Puppet Master. And over here you guys can see it basically breaks, and now the pet has been freed. Right, because the pet has been freed, it's now on your team, so you can click next, you did it, and your pet will automatically heal up and you'll gain the battle reward. Alright guys, so once you do that, Knut will say let's keep on going and you'll appear immediately in the academy. Now basically over here, News will basically talk you to the academy, introduce the main antagonist, show you how basically everything works, and do one last battle. No. <gasps> what can you sense? Right, so News will basically take you up, and over here you guys can see we have the Warden Keystone. Now basically a powerful Shadow Strike strikes and the Keystones disappear. Up here. Warden Keystones go. Right, so now over here, I do believe Nudes explains the problem that without the Warden Keystone, students can enter the academy. The Puppet Master. Pippet. It's finally done. With the Warden Keystones destroyed, no one will ever be able to enter the Academy and fill their lives with knowledge. And without knowledge, they will not be able to resist our mind illusions. Oh 
So basically over here, now what will happen is Newt will explain to us how multiple spells get casted. Right, so now basically this is your energy bar and once it reaches full, you guys are able to cast a spell called in all out attack. Right, so basically you guys have to just keep on casting um, Star Bit Strike. Basically, you guys just have to keep on casting a star bit blast on the enemy team until you get enough energy. You get enough energy to cast our cluster. So basically, what you guys do is you just do this. Now, of course, switching over to your Earth pet might be a good idea. And now, of course, you guys might be wondering why did I choose the fire pet? That's because the fire pet will deal about the same damage as your wizard would. So in this case. You guys can tell we're going up against ice and earth opponents, which means our fire pet will deal as much damage as our wizard would against them, which is good in case our wizard gets killed, because then we can use the fire pet. And not only that guys, but now because you have a fire pet, I that you guys go to a zone like like Shiver Chill Mountain or Firefly Forest, because from these zones, you guys are basically set up in a good way zones because you have a pet which is strong. So you guys can mainly battle using your pets and well deal more damage than what your wizard would be able to do. So right now over here you guys can see we cast the area spell and it does damage to both of these pets. Now of course the damage of the area spell to a single target is much less than the actual normal attack but together it does a lot more damage. Alright guys, so the first pet has been defeated over here, and you guys can see that right now the opponent's team is doing too much damage. But so far, right now, this pot of G version is a lot easier than the last one. So now over here, your wizard will easily be able to defeat them, but do remember that the Charful is one of the best pets to have in the game. Because it's fire pet, it offers you more protection against different elements. Now guys, do remember that it's never a good idea to use a multi opponent's attack on a single opponent. <laughs> Meaning, if you guys are facing a single opponent, if you guys are facing a single opponent, I would advise against using a multiplayer attack on them, because that basically wastes your energy and it does less damage than what normally your one person attack will do. So right now over here you guys can see basically both of our pets over here will gain some stars and level up. I will reach level 5 while my pet will reach level 3, which is quite nice if you guys ask me. And we get a conjure key. Alright guys, so from that you guys can see we basically... So, Alright, so over here Pippin showed us how to use our multiplayer attacks, but later in the future what will happen is when you guys complete zones, you guys will earn something called relics. If you equip relics, you guys can cast the spell of that zone, and not only that, but wands allow you to do additional damage and cast different spells. Ah, so you guys can tell that there's six wardens, but there are only five keystones. Now nothing stands in our way. Six wardens? Uh, Master? You're only fine there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you kidding me? How did we miss one? Yeah, so over here you guys can see the Puppet Master field, and you guys will appear right back at your house. So, so now over here you guys will be giving your wizard's name. So right over here you guys can see that's the secret, and now this will allow you guys to go around the zones and collect the keystones. Alright guys, so now basically over here you guys can choose whichever wizard name you want, you can keep on refreshing which will give you a new page or something, so yeah, just select a name which you guys want and it will get you started. Alright 
guys, so now you guys can see we're given the option to choose which area to go to. Now guys, I would recommend that you guys do not, I repeat, do not go to Tower Town, alright guys? It won't really give you much of an advantage, so I'd recommend going to an area like Firefly Forest or some other place. So now basically Flora... So now basically Flora will give you your intro and give you twist. Twist. Right, so now basically guys up here over here, and because you guys are here, I think I'll give you guys a little tip, right? Yeah. So before doing that spell, I think it would be better if you guys got yourself a wand. So what you guys can do is you can sneak around over there, and then head over here, click on that chest, and you guys will get a wand. Now obviously I can assume that you guys want to avoid that monster battle which you went to, so click on your map again, and click on the same zone, because if you guys do that, you'll be able to avoid that monster battle, as you guys can see. And then you can follow the quest over here. But now you guys know that you've done the tutorial and you guys still have like 450 gold, so what should I do with it? Well, what I'd recommend is I'd recommend you guys instantly go to Lamp Light Town and buy yourself some armor. So now, of course, if there's a festival going on, you guys will have to go through the dialogue, but I'll skip it right now. If you guys want to learn more about Spring Fest, you guys can watch this video over here. And you guys can see when a festival is going on, you guys are already given a hat. Now, of course, the hat doesn't do any health or anything, so it's not really useful. But now that you guys are here, what you guys want to do is you either want to spin the Twilight Wheels to see if you guys can get anything good. Unfortunately, we cannot. So now what you guys want to do is you want to go to the armor shop over here and buy some decent armor. Alright guys, so basically any amounts of armor which you guys can get will help you because, well, it's armor. It gives you a health bonus and stuff. So right, once you buy, you guys will notice that you guys are either bankrupt or you don't have anything left. And once you guys don't have anything left, what you guys can do is... Well. Right, so basically once you guys have gotten that hat, what I recommend is you guys open up your inventory and equip it. Because even the slightest amount of health is better than none. So now that you guys have done that, you guys will notice you have a conjure cube. Also, open the conjure cube so you guys can get yourself items. Right now, when you open the conjure cube, there's a decent chance that it will give you some good armor. Right now, over here, it seems like we got ourselves the shiver chill hat, which is about equivalent to our hat over here. So we can use either one. So now, basically, you guys have yourself a hat and basically everything else. So now, what you guys would want to do is you just want to continue with your zone and keep on doing quests. Now of course in your zone, every monster you battle, you guys will be given 20 of that zone's currency. You guys will be given 20 of that zone's currency, and once you collect that zone's currency, you guys will be able to go to the merchants and buy some items. So now guys, so I hope that this introduction to this series was actually helpful and you guys found something about Prodigy and um, yeah. So I hope you guys found this informational, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, and I will be catching you all next time. One Doctor Genius out the house. Bye, and have a good time.